Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 visas. We're specifically discussing the medical exam in the context of the K-1 visa and what this may look like as we're dealing with things after COVID. So first of all, let's be clear. As of the time of this video, we're dealing with widespread closures of various immigrant and non-immigrant visa units at the U.S. embassies and consulates outside the United States. And for this reason, we are having to deal with things, we're, we're, we're kind of trying to infer or foresee what things are going to look like when they reopen. For those who are unaware, one of the integral documents associated with interviewing for a K-1 visa is a medical exam. So, for example, here, if you get a K-1 visa in Thailand, you have to get a medical exam from an embassy-approved hospital, usually here in Bangkok, and then you go to your interview with that exam, and that's reviewed It's part of the process of reviewing a visa application before it's issued. Now, after they reopen the immigrant and non-immigrant visa units post-COVID-19 shutdown, is it likely that we're going to see COVID-19 tests being administered in medical exams? Well, it remains to be seen, but I think it's very probable that that will likely happen. I think we're probably going to see people being required to get COVID-19 exams before they will be issued a visa. And I could see scenarios where if they test positive, they may have to go through some sort of quarantine before they can even undertake their interview. Again, all of this this is starting to get a bit attenuated from what we know now, and we're getting out into the realm of pure speculation and conjecture on that. But I think it's pretty logical to presume that we could see a COVID-19 facet to the medical exam process associated with the K-1 visa for those who are looking to go to the United States in order to reunite with their loved one therein and take up permanent residence. 